This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Volomar back here with another episode of Resident Evil Survivor. In the last episode, we found out that we were a monster named Vincent who uh, caused problems in the town. Apparently got people killed. I think he had something to do with the... I don't know if he had something to do with the zombie virus, but definitely he had something to do with like bad things going on in this town. So, man, how can we keep going on knowing that we're just... We're so bad, but... Uh, Perhaps all the puzzles haven't gotten down. Maybe maybe there was a redemption arc at some point that we, we've forgotten about. We started off bad, or who knows. And we also got a kid who ran off, which, uh, is that guy still alive? No, I guess he's dead. All right. Well, he's dead now. Uh, oh, wait, he was already, always dead. Anyway, we got to chase after a kid through this place. And, uh, well, hopefully, hopefully we'll find out more answers. You know, we've got... Got some answers, but a, a million more questions. Other than, and apparently, I think, uh, Barry Spook's Umbrella are lined up. I think they said something about Vincent also working for Umbrella as well, so apparently we used to be an Umbrella employee. Perhaps we didn't get our severance or something like that. Or maybe our severance was zombies, that's why we're in this situation. Who knows? Prison Chief's Diary. October 20th. Today we report a reply to a report about those uh, the incident where 20 guinea pigs committed suicide the other day. The headmaster does not seem to have any suspicions and says that the plan is to gather replacement guinea pigs soon. Like, actual guinea pigs, or do you know what we're talking about? It's too late, but now I started to regret that I sent a fake report of a mass suicide incident when it was actually a mass escape. However, as long as I stay, stay in the city, it means death to me if I dare to oppose Commander Vincent. Commander Vince, apparently we, uh, um, scare people, like, really badly. I'll never forget the cruel smile of Vincent when he was shooting at the boys who tried to escape from the prison that night. It looked as if he were killing a bunch of insects. Commander Vincent is indeed a very cold-blooded person, just as he is rumored to be. He is a true murder. I am, I am in a position where I am supposed to report the truth to headquarters, but I'm so afraid of Commander Vincent, I don't know what to do. God, is there really no redemption for us? Are we just monsters? Ah, I don't know, man. Is that my hat Jack? Oh, wait, no, that, this, we're in the office of that one dude. Okay. I thought we were... Oh, I was about to say, we were supposed to be looking for the prison key. I was like, where is it? Gotta be right here somewhere. With my eyesight, I, I keep thinking I've looked everywhere, and then I miss that one spot. So I wear glasses. I can't do anything without my glasses! Okay, how'd you guys come back? Oh, I thought someone was coming to my side. That's why I was rushing it. But yeah, you guys respawn. How dare you respawn? You're supposed to stay dead. You're not supposed to be like the red zombies. You're not supposed to be like the zombies from the GameCube remake. God, those were things were scary. If you didn't burn all the bodies, they would come back with a vengeance. Actually, that's kind of what... That was actually, uh, out of all the games that have ever had like a remake, the Resident Evil GameCube remake is probably one of the best remakes of a game I've ever played, frankly. Like, they made, yeah, sure, they took out a lot of the cheesiness to make it a lot more horror-ish, you know, or thriller-ish, or however you want to pronounce the words or whatever, but golly, god damn was that game well done. I should play that on the channel one of these days, maybe for, I mean, I'm playing Halloween games, but not yet. I want to play all the, I want to play, try to play all the old stuff if I can before I get to some of the remakes and whatnot, so. I still have to replay Resident Evil 2 1 with the Chris playthrough. I should, you know, I should have done that, like, right after, like, the next year or right after I did Jill, just to kind of get you both stories, but, uh, I went on to Resident Evil 2, and then, oh, we got a rope. And then I didn't, and I finished the Leon storyline, but I didn't do the Claire storyline, which I should have done. And then I just went straight to Resident Evil Survivor. So, yeah, I don't really play any these things out. I just, I kind of play certain games on a whim. I'm like, oh, it's Halloween. I should play horror games. And I just pop, I just pull something out of my, you know, old uh, library, you know. That's pretty much how I work. I don't, don't know what else to tell you, folks. I was about to say, there's be another zombie or something. There was another zombie. Now he is the dead. Well. Alright, let's see what's in here. Ooh. Spank material. Baby punks. Is that an actual group? 
wouldn't be surprised if it's an actual group in Japan. Isn't isn't that like uh, uh, isn't that like a new trend of music or something like that? Oops, I forgot to check the rest of the room. I didn't mean to leave. Um, isn't that a new trend in music in Japan? Like the like. Uh oh. Ah. Can I go back or am I stuck in here? Okay, good. Uh, it's like Luita Goth or whatever it is, where it's just basically a bunch of or is it baby metal? It's basically a lot of like school schoolgirls like dressed up in you know, cute you know skirts and all that other stuff but they're singing like heavy metal or at least their version of heavy metal anyway it's a uh, pretty silly oh well you know whatever it's a uh, different yeah more spank material not uh there seems to be some prison prison guard lockers what's that i don't know it just changes hey nothing wrong with having spank material guys you know you gotta as long as you don't uh Take out your sexual frustrations on uh, on someone who doesn't want it. You know, I'm all for it. What? Oh, sorry. It's a uh, said something about a newspaper clipping. There's a picture of a girl in a swimsuit posted here. Oh, that's a swimsuit. Okay. I uh, remember back in the days before the internet that the closest thing you could get to uh, kind of risque pictures is uh, Sports Illustrated swimsuit magazine or something like that. You don't remember that? How old am I? Oh God, I'm old. Uh, okay. Okay. I feel like there was a zombie like right next to me or something. Yeah. By the way, just a little bit longer would have uh, chomped at me. Chomped in the bits, they say. Yeah, these zombies seem a little bit more uh, less skin, have less skin and less clothes. Nudist zombie. Ugh. Huh? Dead body there. Almost like a lot of dead bodies. Looks like, oh yeah, I guess technically if the world was going to go to shit, I mean, who would go back to the prison to save the prisoners? His neck has been cut open by a sharp, sharp blade. These creatures shouldn't be able to do that. Oh wait, well, maybe the liquors, maybe. Oh, better shoot this bullet so I can reload it. Alright, what's this say? A young man's diary. Today I kissed a girl, and I liked it. No way. Uh, wait, no, that should have been, never mind. Imprisoned Boy's Diary, September uh, 5th, uh, September 5th, 16 days has passed since I abducted, I was abducted on the street in Congo by the Men in Black. Hey, hey, the Men in Black was brought here. I didn't understand what was happening at first, but I gradually became aware of the truth of the city. We seem to be confined here to serve as guinea pigs for a medical company called Umbrella Inc. All the residents of the city work for Umbrella, even the women, children, or family members and employees. The guinea pigs seem to be gathered from all over the world. The guy in the room next door is from China. Frickin' red. I mean, uh, the one from, from myself is from Brazil. The rest are Russian, Jap Japanese. It's like a world trade show. Uh, what is a uh, uh, menagerie or something like that? It's strange that they're all around my age. The youngest is 16, the oldest is 19 or 20. Uh, I, I'm not really a fan of this, this side show. Kind of gross. Too young for me. Those guys from Umbrella sometimes take us to an arcade or to a nightclub so we can enjoy ourselves and relieve our stress, but I won't let them deceive me. I will escape from this place no matter what it takes. I must... Anyway, the most important thing is to do now is to organize and gather comrades for what lies ahead. September 10th. Or September 10th. Re Oops. Sorry. Recently, the others have been behaving strangely. It seems that they put some kind of weird drug in our meals. We sometimes lose consciousness, too. I have to be careful. Are we gonna? Is it gonna it's eventually turn to four itchy, crazy, or whatever it was from Resident One? September 21st. I can't believe it! Another friend of mine, Chin, from the next room, was taken to the factory in the mountain. I don't think Chin's coming back. You'll meet the same fate as Anne or Jacob, who disappeared last week. I know. I know what happens to those who are taken to the factory in the mountain. Or did I say September 21st? I probably forgot. When they took me to the nightclub yesterday, I overheard a conversation that some factory workers were having. You know, that's probably why there was, uh, now that they talk about having a place of stress, that's probably why there's random arcades and movie theaters and stuff like that around around this place. It's just de-stress them so they can still keep working on them. Under orders from Vincent, the commander of the city, so we were the commander of the city, huh? They cut open our brains and extract some kind of material, whatever they call it. <laughs> It's, uh, what was it, uh, and when we were at night, I would cut open Gomez's head and remove his brain! 
Wayne! All I can say is that Vincent is a devil. No, not just Vincent. Even the women and children in the city don't treat us as human beings, but as guinea pigs. All the people in the city are evil. I will surely be killed if I stay here any longer. We have to hurry and es execute our escape plan. October 9th. The to time has come. I have noticed the Umbrella people have been visibly disturbed for about a week or so. Rumor has it there was a terrible accident at the Umbrella Laboratory somewhere in America. So it's got, I think that takes place right before 2. Because 2 takes place like like less than a, like two like 48 hours or something after the William Birkin uh, facility gets uh, um, gets comp or no is this talking about the this could, actually this could be talking about the Resident Evil 1 mansion because it said the laboratory or laboratory was an uh, accident so it could have been either one I'm, I'm assuming this from what I understand this takes place uh, uh, either around the same time or shortly after 2 so Anyway, all the prison guard, all the prison guards seem to be very busy gathering information on the accident, so security isn't as tight. We've organized our comrades already. Stochkovic and Enriquez are supposed to steal the keys from the guards. Sankon and I will act as decoys, and Noshikawa and Felipe are in charge of gathering weapons. October 10th. We have decided our escape route. The plan will be carried out at 11 p.m. tonight. We have 20 members separated into two units, Unit A and Unit B. Wow, they're really going into real detail to escape. Well, I guess you kind of have to, but uh, Unit A will go into the sewer through the ventilation slot of the confinement room, while well, Unit B will use a rope, a rope climb down from the surveillance tower. Well, we do have rope now. We'll use the rope they use to tie us. If we fail, Vincent will surely kill us. But if we stay here, Vincent will destroy them to cut our brains out eventually. Uh, we're dead either way, but I'd rather die than try to escape. Man, this place is fucked up. Well, let's continue on. Okay, so we escape. Or escape. Left from there. Was this chin right here? His neck is recovered by a sharp blade. Maybe they committed suicide. Or is the liquors? That's the, only, that's the only other thing I can think of. There's nothing here. At least I don't, I don't notice anything. Another body? Yep, same thing. Hmm. Interesting. Could be the hunters from the first game. I'll be surprised that Resident Evil didn't reuse a lot of the same monsters. They, well, I mean, they reused the same templates. I guess is the word I would, I would describe. But you know, like the hunters became the lickers and stuff like that. But still, now we entered from that door. So let's check this one. I, I feel like the mystery is getting ever closer to being solved. Although we've already solved how, how terrible the first time. Is there anyone over there? Nope, okay. So we sign up. Is that why there's like other noise in here or something like that? Ooh, a shotgun. Or at least that looks like a shotgun. Nice. Although in this case, the. Oh, wrong button. I meant to press the start. All right, let's look at our... We have shotgun bullets. Yeah, we only have so many, so keep that in, in mind. Well, uh, uh, let's, uh, let's check this out. The SPAS-12. This large size military shotgun can be handled with one arm if used uh, with a stock option. Gotcha. I'm not going to use it yet, but this is one of those weapons you kind of... Uh, um, use when you fight. Oh, did I? Oh, I didn't mean to equip that one. Okay, hold on. I don't remember actually equipping it, but. Let's equip this bad boy back. But yeah, you save that for like really nasty creatures or even boss monsters. Of course, we're gonna have boss monsters. What do you expect? I always save I always save that for stuff for bot sponsors. I never use that stuff on regular units if I can help it. Unless I had like a ton of ammo or infinite ammo, then I would consider um, then I would consider using it, but no. I always like to be fed guarantees if that if that makes any sense. Especially I'm so used to play old school games, I'm so uh oh. Ah! 
the hunters. What? What are you doing here? Ah, oh, so that's where the whole... Oh, God. Ow. Uh oh I'm... Oh, God. No, get out. Maybe I should switch to my... Sh oh, crap. Um, okay. So we need to... Whoops. Nope. We need to press... That. And... Use that first aid spray there. Oh, and you're probably wondering yourself, why does he have first aid spray? He used it last time. It's because, unfortunately, uh, the way this game works, I have uh, there's no save point, so it's basically you have to go through the game until you hit like a certain point. So I had to redo the game off screen to get back here. I I wanted this to be a complete like just flow like a one-time playthrough type of thing so i played it through the whole time but unfortunately i couldn't get to work that way so oh well all right so mm, could try to fight these guys or mm, i did want to save these but these guys are pretty nasty so all right oops okay let's back up and The thing is, they keep pushing me. It's like... Okay, there goes two of them. Oh, is that it? Just the two? I thought there was three. Huh. Okay. But yeah, I... I... I, I almost thought about trying to uh, trying to somehow make a way to get me to play, play the whole game in one straight shot, but like I said, things came up and I couldn't do it, so... Oh well. I, I never said I was going to try to do it in a full run or whatever. It's just, I didn't play this game in so long, I'd forgotten like some of the minor details, like where you save, and I and I forgot that you can't, uh, that in this game you can't, uh, uh, okay, there's a ladder down that way, but we can't. I don't think we have any way to go up there, do we? Oh, and uh, cl classic to Resident Evil, at least until some of the later ones. Uh, oops. I keep pressing the wrong button. Um... We have red herbs, so if you have a green herb, you can combine that for a full heal. So let's... Oh, actually, before we do that, let's uh, check it. Check, check, check it. This is an herb that can actually... Uh, that can enhance the effects of other herbs. So, like uh, previous incarnations of the game, we can combine green herb, and boom, got a full heal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those hunters are nasty, even in any version of the game. Messed me up pretty badly. We can't. Uh, can we actually get up there? Oh, we can't. No. No. Um, I was actually wanting to go through the door, but uh, might might have to might have to do the ladder. I guess we'll find out here in a second. If it'll let me go back down. Oh. Um. Let's see. Oh. There's a hook on the wall. You used the rope. Ah, I didn't. Mm. Well, this we're going this way anyway. Uh. I was going to say something, but I'll wait till we finish the game and talk about it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What the hell? Uh. Oh, God. Um. Uh. Oh, shh. Ah! Run! Oh, God. Can you, can you actually get away? Oh, God. It's the tyrant. Ah! Oh! Uh. Uh. Run! Actually, I don't even know if you can actually take him out. <laughs> I'm not messing with that, dude. Punch me once. Shame on me. Woo. Oh, God. Ah! Shoot. I guess you do have to fight him, huh? Ah. 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 Don't, don't get caught on the thing. Crap. I'm not very good at this game. And, ah. Okay, so we're gonna have to. Uh, might have to switch to shotgun here. See how that works. Oh crap! Ah, oh, frick! Why am I actually? Why am I holding back my curses? I can. It's an oh god! He can't stop punching me. Oh, I keep getting caught on the side. God damn it! No! No! God. This guy sucks. This guy... Actually... Actually, this might be... 
This might actually be a character we haven't actually been introduced yet. Um, if that's the case, maybe I should have played 3 before I played this game, because uh, 3 kind of takes place around the same time as 2 is what well. actually it takes place right before 2 occurs. Um, God, is he have more? Now he's got more health, oh boy. No, I don't want to read a poster. Oh god, we're out of ammo. Well, actually, that's not technically true, but... Um, let's combine shotgun bullets. Oh wait, did I already... Re oh, I already reload. That's right, derp. Okay, well, I'll have to... Um, I'll have to resort to the pistol for now. Alright. Survive this guy's onslaught. Oh, nope, nope. Ah, crap! Didn't didn't even get to take advantage of his getting stuck. Yeah, the only really way to survive this guy is to basically like run around in circles. That's why they probably put like. Oh, is he dead? Oh, good. And by the way, this guy isn't actually. Well, he might be a version of Tyrant or whatever, but. Unfortunately, uh, I mean, it's, I guess it's not really spoiler per se, but uh, anyway, he's dead. Whew. Boy, that was uh, nasty. This appears to be a poster of a live concert. I think you can't, re or you shouldn't really fight the guy in the uh, alleyway. I think you should wait till you get inside. Various fixtures are placed here. Appears to be nothing useful. Um, just because I think you have to fight him in a specific spot. Too bad I wasted all that ammo. Oh, another spank material, huh? Who's this lovely lady? I bet she's a fine woman and uh, and has a very w value career, and we respect her for that. Was it Deviant from Deet? 1023, what? Hmm. A memo of the live concert schedule is posted up here. And, which, how do we actually get into this room? But anyway, if, if it's who I think it is, then, uh, then we'll find out about who that guy is in Resident Evil Nemesis. Oh uh, yeah, I can't go back. Gotta go forwards. And we got, uh, we got, um, some, um, uh, what's the word? We got some explosive ammo, so sounds like we're gonna get that grenade launcher at some point. Can you actually go inside this little circle here? No, you can't. Okay. Oh boy, that guy was tough. Luckily, he didn't take too much life. Well, I mean, he probably took quite a bit. I bet one more hit probably would hit me in the caution, but anyway, it looks like Vincent's trouble is not already over. He got some crazy super mad a uh, super crazy buff bin and you know special forces hunters and other such crap and i guess vincent does deserve this because he's a monster but we gotta go to the end gotta find that kid and find out what to do next so find out what happens next time in the next episode of resident or sorry resident evil survivor thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time <laughs>